One of the benefits of designing with Framer is using real data in your designs. There's a couple ways to do this. One of them involves making a code component, importing a JSON file, and rendering that data through a design component. So that can be a bit complex if you're not too familiar with code. But now we have another way to do this that doesn't involve touching code at all. So it's actually a component in the public store called Datastack. So we can install this. And when we drag it out, you'll see the instructions are listed for us. So the first step is to create a design component. So based on your data, this might look a bit different. In my case, I'm going to be pulling an image and one line of text. So in order for the image to be populated, I need to create a frame that has an image fill. Next, I'm just going to create one text box. All right, and that's all I need. I can now turn this into a design component. And we can do that by going to the components panel and selecting new, or we can use the shortcut, which is command K. Now that this is a design component, I'm going to expose these design overrides. So this is how our data is actually going to be populated. So these need to be the names of the objects that are actually in your data file. So in my case, the image is called string drink thumb and the text is just string drink. I'm pulling from a cocktail API. <laughs> So once I have those written out, I can go ahead and connect the data stack frame to the design component. Now I'm going to select the source type of the data. I'm going to use URL. So we actually get this URL as kind of a tester for the component. So I can see here my text is a bit big. So we can now do some formatting with the real data. So this is a pretty basic example, basic design component, but you can really do a lot with this, populate with your real data, and start discovering edge cases and other things that you might have missed if you're just using dummy data. There's also a lot of properties exposed from the data stack component that we can play around with. And yeah, this just makes it really easy to use data in your designs without touching code.